This video is on how to identify a linear or nonlinear function. A function is a relation of which each x value, domain, or input is mapped to only one y value in the range or output, is what we call it. All right, so this is a function, and this is not a function. So let's look at what we're talking about here. Each x value is mapped to only one y value. All right, so here we go here, here we are here. This passes the test. Now over here, why is this not a function? You have each x value has a y value, what's the problem here? Well, I think you probably notice it right away. There are two x values that are the same, and the same x value cannot map to uh, you can't have the same x values mapping to two completely different uh, y values. Each x value is mapped to only one y value at any uh, particular time. So how do we determine whether a function is, is linear or nonlinear? As long as it's a function, a linear function fits the equation for a line y equals mx plus b in which the power of the exponent of x and or y is equal to 1. Equal to 1. So you can only have x and y and the exponent if it's equal to 1 is not shown. It's assumed. But if you see anything else as an exponent, it's not a linear function. A linear function is a straight line. So when you look at it on a graph, it's a straight line. And the straight line, it has a constant rate of change. What does that look like on a graph? Well, it's going to be the slope. So the slope between any two points on that line needs to be the same. A nonlinear function the power exponent of x or y is not equal to 1. For example, you might see y squared or x to the minus 1. y and or x values are radicals, square root of y, square root of x. y and or x values are in the denominator. 2 over y equals x plus 2 would be a nonlinear function. It's not a straight line when you see it on a graph, and it has a varied rate of change. So they might look like lines, but if you check the slope, you'll see that the slope between any two points is not going to be the same. Let's look at some examples of linear and nonlinear functions. This is a nonlinear function. Why? Well, it doesn't pass the test for being a straight line, so that would be your first problem. All right, and this one over here is linear. It is a linear function. How would I be able to tell that it's actually a function? It is a straight line. Well, what I would do is I would plot some points, like right here, for example, and right here, for example, and I would check the slope and see if the slope between these points is the same. What do you think about these two? Well, first and foremost, when we're testing to see if something is a linear or nonlinear function, they have to be functions. Neither of these is a function. Do you remember why? Well, because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. So neither one of these passes the vertical line test. This passes through two points. That fails. And if I do a, I can't really do a straight line, but if I were to do a straight line, obviously it passes through way more than just one point. How about this one? Well, I'm going to use the um, formula for slope, change of y over change of x, and I'm going to check those points. So 
6 to 3 over 2 minus 5 is 1. Minus 3 minus 2, 5 minus 6, slope is 1, or change in rate. Minus 2 minus 2 is minus 6 over 10 is also 1. So yes, this is a linear function. And last but not least, let's use that uh, formula for slope again. Minus 3 minus 2 over minus 4 minus 2. I would get minus or plus 1. And this one looks good. Minus 2 minus 2 and minus 2 minus 2. Again, this equals 1. So far, so good. 2 minus 4 over 2 minus 0. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 over 2 minus 0, which is 2. This is not equal to 1. This equals minus 1. And so we test the last one, minus 4 minus 2, and 0 minus 6. And we get 6 over negative 6, which is also negative 1. So we can see that the rate of change between the points is not the same. So therefore, it is a nonlinear function. All right, that ends this brief little video on how to identify whether a function is linear or nonlinear. Enjoy the activity.